Hi, it's Michelle Schaefer from michelleschaefer.com and in this video I'm going to show you the easiest way to back up your WordPress blog. The first thing that's important to know is that your blog content, your posts, the comments people have left you, your pages, those are all stored in what's called a database. Your database is saved in a separate area on your server. So when you back up your files with FTP, you're not backing up that content from your blog that you want to save. So I'm going to show you how you can do that using a plugin called WordPress Easy Backup. This is a free plugin that you can install on your blog. To do that, you can see that I'm already logged into my admin. I would go to Plugins and click Add New. What we're going to search for here is backup. And when the results come back, you'll see that the first one listed is WordPress Easy Backup. It's already installed on my blog, but if it were not yet, you could click here for Install Now, and then you would verify that you want it to install, and it would install for you. Once it's installed, it adds Easy Backup on your menu over here. When you click that, it will take you to a page where you can configure all your settings. As you can see, mine are already in here. To get these settings, if you're not sure what they are, you can look at your wp-config.php file. If you have no idea what I mean by that, you can email your web host and ask them to help you with these settings. Just let them know these are the settings right here that you need and they can help you get the right information. Once you've plugged your settings in, you would click Save Settings then you'll go to create backup. When you create this backup file, the plugin will do two things. It will create a backup file and store it on the server, which is a good thing, but it will also email you a backup file, which is an even better thing. The reason is, as you can guess, if you save this file just on your server and your server crashes, you've lost your blog, you've lost your blog files, you've lost your database, and you've even lost your backup. So don't just back it up and leave it on your server. Either have this plugin email it to you or log in and download that backup. When you click Create Backup, you will get a window like this. This takes a few minutes, so I've already run the process so that I could show it to you. This is basically the plugin communicating with the server through each of the steps it has to do to back everything up. When you see this final message, thank you for using WordPress Easy Backup, it's telling you that the backup is finished and it's saved both your database and your files. So you have everything you need to recover if something bad happens to your blog. Another nice feature of this plugin is, is the scheduling. You can set this plugin up to do automatic backups. You can set it up for a day that you want it to run backup, a time that you want it to run backup, and it will generate a command that you can set up with your server. But you don't have to set that up. You can simply log in and run the backup whenever you want to by clicking Run Backup on the left here under the Easy Backup menu. You can also browse to see what backups are already complete. So if you accidentally crash something, delete something that you need and need to get it back, you can see right here that there are some different options. This is the backup I made earlier today. If I want to download this, I would click prepare for download and it will move my backup to somewhere that I can access it and save it to my computer. And it's doing that now. So this plugin allows you to back up both your file system and your database, and then it helps you keep those saved both to your computer or into your email account so that you've got a copy of your backup in case the worst happens and your blog blows up. So this is a plugin that is worth having and I recommend installing it on your blog. Again, it's called Easy Backup and you can find it in the WordPress plugin directory or just by searching under Plugins Add New.